Shalom Kareem, I'm Stephen Benoon, you're watching the New Institute of Biblical Research, and today I have a very precious friend and a brother, Brother Rick Warren, uh, not from Saddleback Church, I think there is more than one Rick Warren, actually there's several if you ever look it up on the internet, uh, but Brother Rick is a real precious brother there, we've been friends for quite a long time now, and <clears throat> yesterday he put out a video, and I happened to catch it on Facebook, and I don't get to see many videos. I know my wife watches a lot of different things. Uh, she keeps me up to date on things that are going on, but Brother Rick put out a video, and as I began to watch it, it just really struck my heart. Uh, Brother Rick was talking uh, about different issues that are going on inside of the church, and he actually coined a phrase that I thought was very interesting. We're going to get to that in just a moment here, uh, but uh, Rick has got an amazing website uh, where he has all different types of forums inside of there. We'll go into the, the depths of this website at the end of the broadcast here, but I want to get Rick on here to share with you some of the things that he was speaking about in this video yesterday because I really felt like it's very pertinent for the body of Christ and Without any further ado, Brother Rick Warren, God bless you, brother, and thank you for coming God on bless today. You, Stephen, it's good to see you, my brother. <clears throat> Likewise. It's been a while since we've done one of these. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Yeah, Rick has been on Israeli News Live before, on our on our news channel before. And uh, uh, so anyway, and you guys may have a little issue with audio there. We're going to try to peek it in the editing there to try to bring it up a little bit louder because... Uh, uh, just Brother Rick is dealing with a little bit of a technical difficulty on there. But anyway, uh, let's get right into it, Brother Rick. You Yesterday, you, you put this video out, and it right. was really a nice video uh, Thank you. talking about uh, the things that were going on. But first, I'd like to tell you, know, you, when I heard this phrase that you said, and I don't even want to say it yet, I want you to say it, I could not help but think I've never heard that before, and it just was a really catchy phrase. Can you just share that with us? Absolutely. Um, and and I'm not taking credit for it by any way, shape, or form. It was given to me by the Holy Spirit. Um, just real quickly, I mean, you touched on our website. Um, we have a lot of things going on right now in the world. Um, we, as brothers and sisters in Christ, know that we're in the last days. Um, you could just read Matthew 24. And has, it's jumping off the pages to us. Um, on my uh, website, we keep track of events that happen. Um, and each time an event would happen, I would, I would, I would study it and see what was going on, and and I would think to myself, what in the world's going on? Well, one day the Holy Spirit quickened me. And he said to me that the question really should be, what in the church is going on? And that just really floored me. You see, I'm a member of, uh, we have our Facebook group, and I'm a member of, I don't know how many other Facebook groups, and uh, travel many different Christian circles. And... Um, I am constantly seeing, and now this isn't, I'm not trying to be, uh, toss out condemnation here. What, what I want this to be is a word of encouragement. Please understand that. And, and it's not true with everybody or in all situations, but I am seeing a lot of, even more lately, Christians literally verbally battling each other over topics such as when is the rapture coming? I mean, you have your tree, your, your pre, your mid, post, pre-wrath, um, battling over who the two witnesses will be and when will they appear. Um, focusing things uh, out, what I would call outside of the gospel such as, uh, I mean, I've even seen uh, some YouTube videos where, where they're talking about artificial intelligence possibly being the Antichrist. And, uh, I mean, it's just, you know, I got to thinking about that. And like I said, the Holy Spirit quickened in, my, it quickened in me what in the church is going on. 
the church isn't focusing on what they're supposed to be focusing on, and that is spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is loving one another, being in one accord. I mean, if you go to, to Acts chapter 2, you could see that when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And continually through the New Testament, even Jesus said, Father, I wish they would be as one as you and I are one. So I think a lot of time is getting wasted. Um, I think a lot of time um, is getting misused, if you will. Um, preachers aren't, aren't preaching the gospel, a true heaven and a true hell. And we just really have got to come together and show the love for each other, like Jesus told us to do in in Mark, and and share the gospel of Jesus Christ. I mean, he gave each and every one of us something to do. I mean, in Ephesians uh, um, chapter 4, was it says he, he descended, this is the same that he also ascended far above the heavens and that he might fulfill things, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers. Why? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. And until we come into the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God unto the perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. And today in the church, we've got too many children that are being tossed to and fro and not sharing the gospel. You got to excuse me, brother. I didn't mean to go to preach in there. No, brother. That's... <clears throat> We are, we are on Danoon Institute, brother. This is a preaching channel. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I like that. I, I just love the um, how the, the Holy Spirit dealt with you in speaking to your heart and saying, what in the church is going on? And, you know, the world has got their own expression that is not very godly, but it is so true because... Uh, there, there's supposed to be a unity, and we're supposed to be in one mind and one accord. And in fact, you know, I heard an expression said years ago in the Pentecostal uh, ranks there that where they used to say, if God could ever get ten people in one mind and one accord, we'd be out of here. <laughs> you know. So now I don't know how much truth there is in that, but I just thought it was kind of a funny expression that we heard and. You know, yeah. you mentioned the different gifts, and of course, you have, I think about how that Paul speaks about the body, the member, how can, you know, I forget exactly what he says, the head would say to the the foot, I have no need of thee, and right. I, years ago, brother Rick, <clears throat> I remember I pre preached a message, and I mean, this has been many, many years ago, and I was using the expression, speaking about where Paul said that, <clears throat> And I said, you know, sometimes we really do think that one of our members are, as Paul put it, less comely than the others, that it doesn't really matter. I said, but I use this analogy. I said, you take and <clears throat> let's say you're a construction worker and you're hammering in a nail with a, with a hammer and suddenly that hammer strikes that thumb. I said, what happens? You want to see how the body can truly work together. As soon as the hammer strikes that thumb, the right hand drops the hammer. He goes immediately to the aid, puts pressure to try to help the throbbing. While your mouth is screaming, it hurts! <laughs> your feet will immediately run to the nearest place you can get some medicine. While the other hand will grab the bottle, it will take the pill, it'll open it up, your throat will quickly help it to go down to your stomach, your blood will rush to that little uh, aspirin or Tylenol or whatever it is, and it'll take it to your brain and say to your brain, all is well, don't worry, it'll stop soon, and it'll send it down to the thumb. Everything in the body will work together if it's in tune with one another, you know, and that's the way the body of Christ should be. Oh, absolutely, and... 
you know, Acts 2.46, they continued daily with one accord in the temple. Just that one piece of scripture right there. They continued daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat, and gladness is single of heart. And that is preaching the gospel. When people are from the outside, what are they seeing when they're looking at the body of Christ? Are they seeing this, this uh, one accord? Are they seeing this togetherness? Are they, are they seeing that the Holy Spirit is moving upon this group and saying, wow, what's going on there? You know? Or are they seeing this bickering going back and forth? You know? Um, yeah, I've, I've seen posts on the internet where where people have actually said, I mean, these Christians don't even know what they believe in. And that just, you know, pierces me to the heart. Um, well, you know, Brother Rick, you actually hit a very important fact when you speak about what the <clears throat> Jewish nation was seeing. And I say Jewish nation because it was the house of Judah at right. that time. Yes. That, but the Pharisees, the Sadducees, they were in disarray, disaccord. They didn't agree with one another. You had other groups, other factions among them, but they were the two main ones. And probably one of the greatest testimonies to the Pharisees and Sadducees in the early days of Christianity is that they were in one heart, one mind, and one accord. Now, Israel looks upon the church today and they see over a thousand different denominations. They see fussing and bickering. And do we really think this would ever win the hearts of the Jewish people? They literally mock at us. They, they, yeah. they, they laugh about what we call Christianity. And I really believe that if we take the energy that is, that is wastefully spent on trying to be dogmatic about your own theology and take that energy and put it again, put it into sharing Christ with those around you. We would see a mighty buildup of the church. And I think, I think we're coming to that. I really do. I really believe in my heart that the Holy Spirit is going to, is, is going to pour out among his people and among the church. And, we're going to see a revival in the church, but it's got to start with each one of us first. I believe you that. Know, I challenge, uh, when I did that video, uh, I kind of put a challenge in there that today or tomorrow, in some way, shape, or form, share Jesus with one person. Yes. <clears throat> Absolutely. And Sorry, I got company coming in. That's okay, brother. That's all right. Well, you Share know, Jesus with one person. The thing God is, bless that. The yes, it's going to prompt that person. But uh, yeah, what in the church is going on? That's exactly right. And you know, brother Rick, I agree with you that we need to take and challenge ourselves to to do something to help the people and to get the gospel of Christ out there uh, and. People should take that challenge. Brother Rick, I know you got company coming in. Let's just real quick, I'd like to share uh, sure. with the people. Uh, we're going to minimize the screen down here. Uh, Brother Rick's website, uh, www.endofdayscountdown.com uh, is Brother Rick's uh, website. You can also find him on uh, Facebook. Uh, uh, you go just type in Rick Warren and you look for the real Rick Warren. Uh, yeah. Nothing against the other Rick Warren. I don't want to be, <laughs> be, but I know when sometimes if I put Rick Warren up there, I did it in the title one time, and people are like, "What? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh!" Well, that's the problem. We don't want. Actually, I changed my, but I changed it back over to my full name, Richard. There you go, Richard. All right, we'll say Richard so Warren. <laughs> so, so many messages that you wouldn't believe. I wouldn't doubt it, brother. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, but anyway. Uh, then also when you go into Rick's website, you want to register and I haven't actually registered yet, but that's because I'm always in another area there. 
but anyway, if you click on forums right here, and this is what I really like about Rick's website there. First, you're going to come up with three of them here, user information, daily scripture, and end of days countdown forums. Click on that link right there. That's going to bring you to a whole list of groups in here. Now, because I'm not registered, I'm not seeing the uh, uh, Brother Rick has a news section in here as well, but you have Bible study, general discussion, preppers group, uh, rapture discussion, alternative news, prayer closet, uh, new world order, the gospel salvation, and earth changes, earthquakes, volcanoes, etc., the kitchen. Just some very, very insightful groups there, and I, I really love Brother Rick. He's been a very precious brother, very precious friend to us as well, uh, and he's got a real heart for souls, and that's what I like. This That's one thing I always like about when I see someone that has that kind of love for the souls of humanity, and Brother Rick does have that. Brother Rick, thank you so much for coming on. Can you share with the people any other information to how they can see you on Facebook, et cetera, like that? Well, on Facebook, um, we have the uh, End of Days Countdown uh, Facebook group. Um, and then, of course, I have my homepage, which is Richard Warren, not Rick Warren. Um, but, yeah, uh, we'd like as many people to join up as we can, and, and we're continuing uh, we share information. Um, I follow and have built up over the last three years uh, a whole ton of um, Twitter feeds and different information coming in about, especially about Damascus and, uh, you know, just things that are going on. And we try and relate that into uh, scripture and, and to what is happening. Um, like what's happening in Damascus right now, definitely could be Isaiah 17 coming to pass very soon. Yes. Um, so that's that's basically what 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 it's about, and, and we'd love you all to join, join in the conversation. Amen. Thank you so much. Blessed. What a blessing, Brother Rick. We thank you for joining us here today on the Noon Institute of Biblical Research. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Rick, do you have a YouTube channel as well? I uh, just started it. It's uh, so no, not yet. Not yet. I got, okay. I got well, if you if you register on the website, you will find that information out when uh, Brother Rick uh, Richard Warren there is ready to do that. And I know it'll be a blessing to you. God bless you all for watching. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon. Shalom. God bless. God bless you, brother.